Hi parents, um, just planning our sessions for this weekend and looking outside the window it's wet, rainy, cold so we're firmly into, uh, into the winter months nearly now and it got us thinking about promoting well-being in our kids. We are at a stage now where we get the texts coming through and the, and the phone calls, uh, do you train through winter, what happens when it rains, uh, what happens when it gets too cold. And we say the same things, we, we keep training. Um, obviously, health and safety will come into it if uh, a pitch is frozen or completely waterlogged, but if it's just cold and a bit of rain and a bit of wind, we train. And the reason for that is is that we live in England and for possibly half the time, three quarters of the time, it's it's cold, it's raining and, it, and it's windy. That's just how it is. Um, so it's... It's a, it's a talk today to just explain that actually you could be promoting the well-being of your child by keeping them out in the winter months, doing exercise and classes, doesn't have to be football, anything. Um, and I think there's a little bit of a misconception that the cold weather actually makes children ill or it's really, really bad for them or something like that. But if that was the case, there wouldn't be anybody living in Russia, would they? So it's... It's important that winter, we're not keeping our little ones indoors for a variety of reasons. But one of the big things that we find for those parents that do bring their children to the sessions through uh, through winter is just just the the sheer impact it has on in a positive sense on on their well being. So um, we're talking there about stuff like resilience. So once they get there, they get playing. Um, they're warm in minutes anyway, but it, it does build that resilience in them, which is going to be fantastic for them later in life um, when they will get knockdowns in one way, shape or the other. But, but the, playing sport outside when it's cold, when it's wet in uncomfortable conditions at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, it's going to be so helpful for them when they do get older and they have more important problems to uh, to deal with. Um we think it helps their confidence as well. I, I think when they look outside and it is disastrous in terms of the weather conditions, but they get to football or they get to their rugby lesson or whatever it might be, um, and they have a good session, they come away with, with more confidence. They battled the elements and they scored a few goals or whatever, and it does really, really build their confidence that even if it is cold and wet and awful outside, that they can still be really good at their sport. You'd be surprised at the benefits of, uh, of, of that, without a doubt, that just sense of achievement, I suppose, by getting outside for an hour and doing some sport. Um, there's obvious fitness benefits as well. If we hold our kids up through winter because it's a bit cold, then what that will do for them from a from a fitness and an overall well-being perspective is is it's not great at all um they spend too much time in front of a screen anyway a lot of the time if we then decide that winter is just out of bounds for going outside and playing sport then it's more time in front of a screen it's less time being active less time being healthy so it, it's a, it's a massive massive thing and something that we do speak to parents about a lot is you use the winter, use the winter to help them um, and, and fitness in the winter, keeping active is so, so important because they have even less time to get outside because of the dark nights and so forth. Um, kids simply don't move as much as we used to. When we were kids 15, 20 years ago, we'd be outside playing, climbing trees, um, running away from, uh, from gardens because we've kicked the ball over there and the neighbours going mad, all sorts of stuff. You don't see kids playing out anymore uh, for a variety of reasons, which is, is maybe for another time. But if if we then keep the kids inside over winter, it's it's just it's gonna just deter them in so many ways because of the, the sheer lack of amount of time that they have to go outside and, and move anyway. Um, so we need to take every chance that, that we can to get them get them outside. Um, a couple of things as well, because because we do get it that parents. It, it, <laughs> If the if the child is is just in tears, they don't wanna they don't wanna go. It's too cold and so on and so on. And so on. we know it's hard, but I think that comes down to picking the right session as well. If you go into a session outdoors, any sport, if the children are stood still doing nothing, um, the coach is just talking and talking and talking. 
they are going to get cold and that's when they will get upset and they'll get bored and they won't want to do it. So just pick the right session. The sessions, particularly in winter, I know ours, we completely make sure that the kids are moving at all times and minimal stoppages because we know that the longer they stood still, the more they're not going to enjoy it. So pick the right session. That That's massive. Make sure that they are in a session that does keep them moving, keep them active because then they'll forget about the cold. Um, there'll always be a time when you as a parent look outside and think, I just can't be bothered today. That's uh, that downpour. I don't want to stand there in the wet and the cold and so forth. And we get that. And there is always going to be those times. But just don't make it a habit. Don't make it a habit. Just every now and again, of course. But the more you do it, the more the children will think it's all right to, to drop out of, a, of an activity simply because they don't like the look of the weather. And longer term, that isn't going to do anything for them at all. Um, we as parents, what are we teaching them if we allow them to dictate when they want to go do something, when they want to go keep active outside simply because of the weather? So uh, it, it's important that we're on top of this. Um, if you need any more help and advice on this, please speak to us. We will also put a link to uh, a blog for some tips on keeping your children active through winter. We'll put that in the, uh, in the notes below. And thanks for listening.